I'm Joel from Columbia River Knife and Tool, and this is the tactical video for Blade HQ. I want to run you through some of the tactical offerings for 2017. The first one up, which is very cool, is the Rune from Ryan Johnson. And uh, this is a really cool tomahawk here. It's nice and tight and compact. SK5 carbon steel. It's got glass reinforced nylon handles for grip. If you're going to take one tomahawk in your pack in any tactical or emergency situations, this is going to be the one that you want to take because this is a tool that's going to get the job done for you. You've got a nice curved beard here. It's sharp in the back and in the front so you can use it to extraction and for uh, cutting up things that you need to get done if you need to take out some wood or some different metal objects to make get in your way anything of obstruction. Uh, this is a great tool to have in a variety of situations. So that's the Rune from Ryan Johnson. Ryan's from Chattanooga, Tennessee, and he designs for RMJ Tactical, who we work with on a very consistent basis at CRKT. I did want to show you, too, the um, tiebreaker from Brian Ty, And this is a really cool knife. It's got a stonewash blade finish, super lightweight. You can see the skeletonized handle, paracord wrapped in OD green. Brian Ty is known for his very distinctive designs, and this is a tactical offering for him. You also have this gear compatible clip, which the knife fits in very nicely and clicks right in, and that's the tiebreaker knife uh, from Brian Ty and CRKT this year. This is called the Strafe. Now, this is a fixed blade knife with a G10 handle, super grippy, really nicely done, stainless uh, steel stonewash finish. And you can see that the blade here is nice and thick up here. It's a baton on if you need to. You got some really good jimping on the back of the blade. And this is the new Strafe from Lucas Burnley. And it's a really nice design, tastefully done by Lucas, and ready for any situation that you may encounter. Now, this is uh, also a Lucas Burnley. You'll see in the EDC video the folding versions of this knife. But this is called the Auxiliary, or the AUX, A-U-X. And this knife is uh, designed to be the secondary weapon to your primary uh, primary carry weapon. This is designed to be the auxiliary to that weapon. That's where the name comes from. It's a really nice satin finish blade. Nice thump, thumb ramp jimping here for really good grip. Comfortable handle scales that also offer grip. And a gear compatible sheath that you're going to want to take with you on your next mission to back you up in any tactical situation or emergency situation. Now, one of the programs that mean a lot to us at CRKT is the Forge by War program. Forge by War is a, we work with vets that have returned from war to design and produ produce mission ready tools. And then we give back to the veterans designers charity of choice. So this is the Rockasan by Austin McGlown. And he, deci he decided his charity of choice is the Green Beret Foundation. So he's giving back here um, in that way in the Forge by War program. This is a beautiful knife. It's also very useful. Super grippy handle. You can see all the dents here and everything. So if you had mud or, or, or uh, mud or it gets wet, if you have gloves on, very useful. Very distinctive blade shape, ready to get the job done for you in tactical situations and on mission. Now, this is based on a um, Latin sugar skull design because the Tecpatl's name is taken from the ancient Aztec mythology name for knife. Now there's a lot of insignias going on here and we have a video that explains Michael Rodriguez's uh, vision for all these different all of these different signs here but you can see the seven special forces group where he served also the three lightning bolts indicate special forces. Uh, Michael Rodriguez is a, a Green Beret who served for 21 years as a sniper and a medic He's been deployed all over the world, Bolivia, Afghanistan, Colombia, Peru, um, and, he, and he's part of the Forge by War program now. The two charities of choice that we're giving back to with this specific knife are the George Bush Institute, because he serves as an advisor to George W. Bush, and also the Special Operations Care Fund. The Special Operations Care Fund is an excellent charity, and this is the new Forge by War uh, Tech Pottle knife. Here's the sheath from Michael Rodriguez. The next one I want to show you is Michael's wife, Kelly Rodriguez, and she designed this combat stripping tool, which we're calling it the CST, and it's designed really to replace uh, the trauma shears. So a lot of times trauma shears get caught up and can you know, stab the patient or get caught up in, in, in a variety of different situations. 
This actually has a rounded nose here at the end where when you push this in and cut straight up the jeans or up the pants or up the apparel, it's, it comes super easy because it's razor sharp. There's also a measurement stick here to use in the field when you need to pull out bandages or measure or rip, rip packages quickly or measure wounds, you can do that. There's an oxygen uh, wrench, um, oxygen bottle wrench here to adjust oxygen bottles that you need. And there's a very secure handle. So when you're actually going up against the apparel or the clothes to, to rip off in, in combat situations and uh, when there's an emergency, then um, it's very comfortable in the hand. Now that's the combat stripping tool. It also comes with this easy to use sheath and it just slides right in. And that's from Kelly Rodriguez and the Forge by War program. And please look up the Forge by War program. It's a great way to uh, give back to the veterans community and that we're working with the Columbia River Knife and Tool every day in a way that we saw we could give back to the marketplace. So we appreciate uh, all of their service. And we also thank Blade HQ for coming by and taking a look at a few of our tactical offerings this year. And uh, please make sure you visit bladehq.com and crkt.com for any further information.